Greetings, my friends. Jimmer Linz here with your Source Filmmaker Tip of the Day. Today is Tip of the Day number 29. As always, thank you for tuning in, for subscribing to my channel, and for being cool people. I really appreciate it. I am back after a brief hiatus where I was gone for several days last week, so I thank you for your patience and for sticking around and coming back to watch more. Uh, today's tip of the day is a really quick one, but I hope it will be useful to some people. Uh, one of the things that people may have noticed is when you're recording sequences uh, in Source Filmmaker that the things that fit on the, that go on the wall, like bullet holes and blood spatters and stuff from the in-game recordings, they tend to stick around and can, they, they can be a little annoying. So if you want uh, to be able to clear them up, you either have to wait for them to expire or you can do this. Uh, by way of demonstration, I recorded a scout earlier uh, here on this map. He's just going to run up to the wall and he's going to shoot it. Now, as you can see, he's leaving these little decals behind from when he did the shooting. So if I bring the work camera in here. And if I, uh, if I go back to the top of the shot and uh, run it again, well, he's shooting the same spots, but the, uh, uh, the decals are staying there. So what do we do to be able to get rid of those when we're ready to actually um, run a render or we want to uh, see what it'll look like with, um, without the decals already present? Uh, one of the things I have not done is test to see if this actually occurs with dual duplication of the decals when you do a render. Uh, I assume it doesn't, but it's something that I'd be interested to find out. So if anybody knows one way or another, let me know. Um, as it stands, though, this is something that kind of can be distracting visually and can uh, make it difficult for you to tell how something will actually look when you do go to do a render because these decals, they they stay there and uh, you keep on adding to them and they move around or it replaces one and we end up with this kind of like annoying sort of thing. So what do we do to get rid of those? It's actually really, really simple. You go to the console and you type, and you can see I did it earlier, R underscore clear decals. Then you go back to your primary viewport, and voila, they're still here. Except that they're not. If I go back to the top, as soon as you move the playhead at all, they will disappear. Uh, so if I do this again, he will come in, and now I can see what it would look like if the decals weren't already there. Uh, and the next time I'm ready to do a shot where I'm interested in seeing what that looks like, I can go back to my console and I can hit this and I can go back and uh, just moving the playhead a little tiny bit will cause those to clear and then I can do it again. <clears throat> Excuse me. So that's how you can get rid of the decals that appear on the wall from bullet holes, blood spatter, and all the other silly stuff that you do during your game sessions. Uh, and the console, by the way, will usually be here by your primary viewport, but the most common way to access it is just to hit the, uh, the tick key, which is the upper left key on most US keyboards. It's the, uh, there's a tilde, which is the little squiggly bit, and then the, uh, I believe that's called a grave accent. Anyway, that, that sort of crooked apostrophe in the far upper left. If you weren't familiar with where that was, and most people who play Team Fortress 2 or other source games know where it is, um, if you've played them for any length of time, um, but that's how you get to it. You can either tap that or you can look for the console tab. And it just depends on your view. Um, I believe you can also find it by just, yeah, here it is. You go Windows and select console and it will show you the console in case you've closed it or it's not visible to you or you don't know where to find your grave accent key on your keyboard. So there you go, folks. Your uh, uh, source filmmaker tip of the day, number 29. Thank you all again for listening and for tuning in, and I appreciate you uh, you being uh, being here to watch this and uh, joining my YouTube channel and for all the great feedback uh, that I've been receiving. Uh, it is very kind of you, and uh, I look forward to bringing you more of these tips of the day. Uh, with that, I am Jimmer Linz, and I hope you're having a great day. Have a good one.